Sushi again! So this restaurant we're in is a sushi restaurant in Central. Cheryl recommended this to me because it's got really good value lunch sets. Sushi set is really good because they serve it like an omakase. So rather than serving all the sushis at the same time, they kind of bring out each piece. The price is really good for 10 pieces of sushi. And it's super fresh. So I've been here before, so I'm bringing Mr. Chan out to one sec. Value for money is always great. Can't mess with being frugal. What the hell? She took my one. Okay, now my turn to my one. <laughs> I don't think so. Mmm. <laughs> so they're like making it on the spot. Lovely. <laughs> That's a cartoon character. It's Toro. Check this out. It's just Toro. Okay, fine. <laughs> the next one's one that Sarah sometimes isn't a big fan of. Not because she doesn't like it, it's because Sarah's a strange one. But a lot of people love it. Love it. It's crazy. It's Udo. Uni? Uno. See, I told you it was really hopeless with Japanese. Omosaki. <laughs> With a bit of soy sauce. You have your own soy sauce. It's too far away. Um, fresh, crispy seaweed on the outside. A lovely, lovely tuna with rice in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's really disappointing when you have a hand roll with like soggy seaweed. But this seaweed is really good. Worth trying, never give up, man. <laughs> Love a good hearty miso soup. This is miso, what are you gonna call it? What name are you gonna make up for it? I'm not making up anything. It's very disrespectful to their cuisine. You can say it's a miso, miso soup. I need to occupy the middle spot. Because you look skinniest in the middle. Because if you're on the side, it distorts your face. See? Oh, that is. Looks skinniest in the middle. Today we're at my favourite hotel coffee shop. It's one that Sarah and I come to, we used to come here all the time, but I've not been here for about half a year because I'm busy at work, busy with Damon, busy with family life. Where are we? Mandarin Oriental Cafe Corset. They have the most delicious bread and butter pudding. Delicious. I don't think Sarah's gonna mind me being here because she's in Japan, eating unlimited amount of sushi, doing crazy shopping. The Mandarin Oriental Hainan chicken rice is very nice. The Cafe Corset burger is not bad either. What should I have? Freshly baked with their Mandarin Oriental made pesto sauce. Delicious. Perfect. It's not often I go to nice restaurants without Sarah, but today I'm working, so here we are having a meeting and having Cafe Corset. Usually I just eat 
and forget about you guys. But the burger looks really succulent. So we're going to cut the burger and show you how a juicy burger is cut in half. The burger wasn't cut particularly elegantly, but check this out. Bon appétit. You're just gonna have to watch me eat. Sometimes, when we order the high chicken rice, we opt for the plain white rice because it's a little healthier. But what the hell? What would high chicken rice be without the chicken rice? We've gone for the healthier chicken breast. Mm. Tasty. Look at this. Total satisfaction. This is going to be the last restaurant in our uh, Eat Central. <laughs> last time it was Japanese, then Cafe Corset. Now, tonight, we're going for some yummy, yummy... Chinese food. Very funky. Actually, our stylist... Shou Yan. She's very cool and chic. She wears very nice clothes and also goes to the coolest, fanciest, newest places in town. Not really the fanciest, but she definitely knows what's cool around town. Fancy doesn't necessarily mean expensive. True, true. Me, I very kindly marked tonight as a date with Mr. Chan because he needs to be fed properly as he's been really food deprived. Why? Tell you later. If you weren't impressed with Sarah's walking, now you've got Jason walking in Central. Central where? Tycoon. So we kind of picked Chinese Library tonight for our date. The initial choice wasn't actually in Tycoon, but Cheryl said, newer places, cooler places, this is one of them. So, here we are. Yeah, the vibe here is quite good because there's a few alfresco restaurants downstairs. There's a few Chinese restaurants in this area. We picked this one because I think the decor is a little bit more masculine. Huh? Because there's Madame Fu. Yeah. That's got a feminine decor. A lot of girls have their bridal showers or their like parties there because it's like pink and it's very chic. Very yeah. girly. Very girly. So well, I think we could film a whole vlog in Tycoon. There's so much stuff here. You could eat breakfast, lunch and dinner here. Yeah, but it would be like Chinese, Chinese and Chinese food. But decent Chinese. I don't know. We'll have to try. <laughs> Not sure how decent the food is, but I'm thinking it's pretty good. Cheers. Spicy, a little spicy. What's it called? Seniors. Eel. <laughs> I forget my English. But you almost can't tell it's eel because it's so crispy. It just tastes like something fried. It could be fried worm. You can't tell it's eel. Strange, Sarah. Very strange. What? Asians eat anything. Ginger abalone. So this is fresh abalone sliced with a bit of cucumber and ginger. Mm -hmm. Fresh. The ginger taste is quite strong, actually. Sarah's been dying for abalone. I think it's quite nice. Mm. It's not as heavy as the traditional Chinese mm. braised abalone. Yummy. I can actually eat this whole thing. I like the abalone, the beef, and then the crispy eel. Because I feel like the crispy eel, you can't really tell it's eel. Yeah. It's just like sweet and sour, something fried. It doesn't feel real, whereas like beef, it's like real beef texture and the abalone is very refreshing. Mm. The eel is kind of more of a snack than dinner. Tastes nice with your beer, which you've finished. Time for another one. I love hot and sour soup. But a good and hot and sour soup is really hard to make because it's got to be the right level of spiciness and the right level of sour. This is totally a lifestyle program, just introducing what's cool and tasty in Hong Kong. Except we normally get to eat for free, but now we have to pay. 
can I ask? Uh, do you mind if you treat us to dinner because we're filming a restaurant? No, I'd rather pay because then we get to pick and say what we like. But no, actually, um, a lot of the restaurants we're going to or recommending personal favourites or yeah. something that we've been wanting to try for a long time. People are generally very hospitable. So this is their signature hand-ripped chicken. Hand pulled like pulled pork. It's really good actually because there's no bones. You don't have to kind of worry about bones. So they're super lazy. And it comes with this very appetizing lime sauce. I'm not a huge fan of citrus, so I'm not going to try the lime sauce. It tastes really good nice. as is. Do we need a rice? No, I'm good. Okay. We're actually pretty full by now. Can we have some desserts later? Here or elsewhere? Where else for desserts? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe we could go to Pacific Coffee and get your brownie. Oh. Brownie mocha dream. I've been looking for my brownie dream mocha, brownie mocha dream, whatever. It's really tasty. It's like a frappuccino, but it's Pacific Coffee's Chilino. Tasty. It was sold out in TST. Damn it. So we can go look for that. Yes. But I think that will be a dessert. Yeah, late evening guilt trip craziness. I've just been eating after Japan non-stop and eating non-stop in Japan and I haven't worked out for two weeks. I've not eaten for two weeks. I've done your share of eating. So now my ad's finished. I filmed it. I'm just going to eat and drink snacks whilst watching Netflix. The life of a male artist. See you soon.